Hey everybody, welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five. I'm Jen and every Friday I give you a quick rundown of the five best performing articles on the site. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out as soon as we upload this video every week to our top five video playlist. All right, so let's hop into it. At number five this week, we have winners of the opensource.com community awards in 2015. So every year, opensource.com awards contributors from our community who have excelled in writing and sharing about open source. So open source technology is one area where we focus on a lot on the site, but we also share tales of people from around the world who are pushing and working for open education, open access, open data, open government, and a whole lot more. So you can check out the awards for our winners in the following six categories. The People's Choice Awards recognizes the community's favorite contributors from 2014, and this is voted on by the community. We have the Reader's Choice Awards, which recognizes the community's favorite articles from 2014, and this is voted on by the community. And then we have the Best Interview Awards, also voted on by the community, and this recognizes their favorite interviews from 2014. We also have the Moderator's Choice Awards, who, which recognizes a member who has created a big difference in the community, voted on by the moderators. And then we have two awards that are selected by the opensource.com team, and this is the Conversation Starter Awards, which recognizes those who have excelled in starting conversations about stories that are published on the site. And then we have a new award, the Emerging Contributor, which recognizes new contributors to the opensource.com community. So go check those out. It was fun to um, award those and really recognize some people who have contributed to some great content on the site. All right, at number four this week, we have Good Design Matters for Open Source Projects. Rushba Meha walks us through what it was like for his team to find the right company to redesign their open source enterprise resource planning ERP project called ERP Next. He focuses on the importance of taste as well as the brief, the designer, and the process for the project in executing a successful design to increase user engagement of an open source project. This kind of advice is good for anyone trying to reach new audiences and improve the experience of their users. At number three, we have DevOps culture needs to be created. Gordon Hoff is a Red Hat cloud evangelist and writes that DevOps is fundamentally about adopting many of the same open source best practices like agility, transparency, collaboration, iterative, fast release, and continuous integration. Half says, these come together and over time create an open source lifestyle and culture. They can likewise come together to make DevOps thrive. And number two this week, we have how the nine major tenets of the Linux philosophy affects you. David Both is a Linux pro, and it shows in his writing on the subject of the Linux philosophy. A couple of months ago, he wrote about what the Linux philosophy is in, a type, in an article titled, The Impact of the Linux Philosophy. In his new article, he follows up on readers' comments and shares what context the nine major tenets of the Linux philosophy have on our daily lives. Finally, at number one this week, we have Introducing the Raspberry Pi 2 and a new resource. Jason Baker brings us the news of the Raspberry Pi 2, which is the newest upgrade to the tiny computer board that is making headlines in publications like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and on the BBC. The Raspberry Pi 2 has a faster processor and twice the memory, both of which means this little guy can be used as a full replacement for a desktop computer. That is pretty amazing. And what's more amazing is that it's only $35. All right, so tacking on to this news is the release of our newest resource on opensource.com called What is a Raspberry Pi? This is a resource written by Jason Baker as well as Ruth Sahili, who is the author of a recent book called Raspberry Pi Hacks. So check that out. Check all the links out to the article in the notes below, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.